And this town is dead. I should have just moved to Philadelphia. Hey, you seem nice and all, but I'm really not interested. Yeah, but I mean, I am not refreshed. That's a pretty lame come on, hun. Especially since I just know this. Don't get on my nerves, pal. Let's see. Damn, Captain, you back again? I don't suppose you brought me a little gift this time. Help a gal down on the luck, find some relief. How about you give me some information, and then we'll see. Yeah, yeah, I guess. So what you want to know? I think I've got all the information I need right now, Tish. Okay. Maybe next time. I'll be right here waiting for you, Captain. Let's go to our lean clinic. That's the only thing that matters to me right now. What you got in that head of yours? An intelligence chip? You gonna steal some poor natural's job? My father lost his factory job to a robot back in 2012. But at least that thing couldn't think for itself. Last night for a walk. <coughs> but you might want to stay on a derelict road. Sorry, bud. The protest broke up hours ago. There's nothing to see here anymore. You look like you're built for trouble. Go on in. We're still people open. People see conspiracies everywhere. They're saying that Lim's personal catalogs... I mean, some people get preferential... Big news day in Detroit. A hostage first, taking sir. and a protest? We're very lucky to have might bump the regulation made out of the phone. Are you seeing anything today? Anywhere in the world. Well, maybe next time. See you then. Alright, let's talk to Taggart. Hello, Taggart. Uh, little friend. Then we will call the attack but no, let's go here. Well, there is a four star security door. There. Sensitive data seems useful.
Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. I appreciate your concern, Mr. Taggart, but it was nothing I couldn't handle. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. I'm curious about something, Mr. Taggart. What is it you hope to accomplish by coming here tonight? I would think that would be obvious. Your company has been viciously targeted. The violence and bloodshed that's occurred, it, it must be stopped. But I'm afraid it won't be until men of wisdom and understanding come to an agreement. About what? About the future, Mr. Jensen. This enhancement technology threatens to change the course of human evolution, to redefine what it even means to be human. You think governments can afford to let that go unregulated? You can't stop progress, Mr. Taggart. Perhaps not. But neither can we afford to sit by and watch it happen on its own. Not when we have the ability, the collective will, and foresight to influence it. I see. Thank you for illuminating me. Any time. <laughs> I'm glad we had a chance to talk, Mr. Jensen. Meeting you has been very <coughs> informative. You will think on what I said, won't you? You will think on what I said, won't you? Just doing my job here, sir. I'm sure you can appreciate that. But most of your people have been kind enough to give us a wide berth. So let's keep the hassle to a minimum. But most of your people have been kind... You're Taggart's aide, aren't you? Dr. Isaiah Sandoval, isn't it? No need to play ignorant, Mr. Jensen. I am quite sure you have a file on me that's as thick as the one you have on Mr. Taggart. You're an outspoken activist in your own right, Dr. Sandoval. When you have seen the things that I have, you find you have no choice but to stand up and be counted. Frankly, I am surprised an ex-cop like yourself isn't more disturbed by the dangers of this technology. Augmentations help a lot of people, Doc. Handicapped, war vets. Yes, but at what cost? My own friend had his life ruined by these so-called enhancements of yours. A man much like you who had no choice but to become augmented. Yet, once he was... Too much power can make you do terrible things, Mr. Jensen. I suggest you think long and hard on that. I'd like to hear more about your friend, Dr. Sandoval. What exactly did he do? Nothing. Was he injured in the Gulf? He went on a rampage in a shopping mall, if you must know. Hoping to be gunned down by the police, rather than face a lifetime battling augmentation addiction. He was addicted to augments? They don't talk about it in those corporate brochures of yours, do they? Neuropathy independency, rejection psychosis, any number of physical and psychological ills have resulted from this technology, and yet we rarely hear a word about them. I'm sure the literature is out there. No thanks to the throng of corporate lawyers attempting to stop it. Your friend, did he succeed? Did he suicide by cop? No. Bill Tiger talked him down. I am sure you are very busy, Mr. Jensen, as are Mr. Taggart and I. I trust you will think on what I have said. I trust you will think on what I have said. Real shame what happened at your factory tonight. My condolences. We'll be out of here shortly. Then you can all relax. Athena, you've been at this company a long time. I hope that's not a comment about my age, <laughs> Adam. No. But I know nothing gets by you. 
if Sarif had done something that could compromise us. Mr. Sarif has only the best interests of this company in mind, Adam. I'm not questioning that. Aren't you? I've been here since the beginning. I've seen how he built this up from nothing. He cares for his people. He truly believes what we're doing is important. And he would never do anything to jeopardize it. I shouldn't have brought it up. No, you shouldn't have. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. You better get in there, Adam. David's been waiting. Try not to get him upset. This whole situation is really weird. Okay, that does seem upset. Boss, we need to talk. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? Did <laughs> what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh. I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now. But he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. I want to, believe me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. But you can't expect me to tell you every detail <laughs> of this company's operations every single day. We're at war here. And it's your job to protect us from enemies who try to take us down. You should have found that loophole without my having to tell you about it. You know, Frank wanted me to hire experts, an outside security firm to protect us, but you convinced me you could do it. Are you saying you were wrong? Adam, are we done here? No. Boss, I think we're getting sidetracked here. If you want me to win this war for you, I need to know how badly we've been compromised. I need to know what was in that data stream in case our enemies accessed it. I see. I suppose him and I tried to do that. Your concerns about the data being compromised won't really be an issue as long as we stay strong and work together as a team. That's all I've ever tried to do here. Find the best, most qualified people I can and bring them all together so they can complement each other. Now, Megan understood that. That's why she suggested I hire you in the first place. To help this little family of ours survive. Shh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Adam, are we done here? Okay, if that has worked very well so far. Megan? Boss, what does Megan have to do with any of this? I thought we were discussing a security breach. She doesn't. I mean, I, I mean not, not directly. The data you're so nervous about is little more than a bunch of routine fact-finding reports, the kind of stuff I deal with every day. Megan pointed me in a direction and I followed up on it. That's all. And now that I've shared this much with you, I have to ask how your knowing the fine details will keep the rest of us any more secure. Can't you trust me to take care of things from here? Adam, are we done here? Boss, six months ago, mercenaries knew stuff about this company that I didn't and used it to get past my security measures. I don't really care what kind of secrets you and Megan were keeping back then. I just want to make sure they don't endanger us again. Adam, I didn't mean to imply... You're right, okay? You're right. I, I really shouldn't keep this information from you. I just hope you'll understand why I did. All right. Look, the truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look, I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. Eh, Praxis points. Well, good. Convinced his ass. Which is exactly what I want to do, though. It is getting late. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Hensha Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development, self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. Okay, we check. What? Okay, let 
me check that. Let me see if we reload. Yes. You have your orders, Adam. Meet Farida at the helipad as soon as you're ready to leave. And don't forget to keep track of your expenses in Hensha, or Athena will be on my ass. And don't forget to keep track of your expenses in Hensha, or Athena will be on my ass. Ugh. Let's try, try that augmentation. Go to sleep. Sorry, Adam, I can't help you right now. I'm Yes. Should be well and good. Oh, that's it for me tonight. So Very much for watching.
day. Goodbye.